Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late December 2020 and five important things have been added to the AVAB Harry in DCS. So, first of all, the route plan page has been added to the kneeboard. So, right shift and kilo to get to the kneeboard. You will cycle the kneeboard pages with these commands here. Kneeboard page, previous and next. If I go to next, next, you can see here mission route plan. I currently have four waypoints in my plan and this is going to tell me the total distance covered by the four waypoints, my average ground speed, the total fuel, the waypoint estimated uh, en route time, so how long navigating the four waypoints will take in hours, minutes, seconds, how many waypoints there are and if there's lots of waypoints we may have multiple pages. If we have multiple pages, right win and space to cycle between the pages. So, waypoints 1, 2, 3 and 4. Regards to each waypoint, the heading related to each waypoint is 003, 085, 195, 285. The ground speed associated with each waypoint, currently they're all 440 as set in the mission editor. The distance for each leg associated with the waypoint, 7 miles, 11 miles, 6 miles, 4 miles. The altitude associated with each waypoint, all at 300 feet ASL as you can see. Distance remaining when we get to each waypoint. So at waypoint one, there's 22 miles remaining, 10 miles remaining, four miles remaining, and zero miles remaining. The distance total accumulated. So seven miles have passed, 18 miles have passed, 25 miles have passed, 29 miles have passed. The time with each leg associated with the waypoint, 59 seconds, one minute, 34, and so on. And the time accumulated by each waypoint. So 59 seconds, waypoint one, uh, two minutes, 30, three waypoint two three minutes 25 and then by the time we get to the end four minutes and three as shown up there next parking brake if you do a ground stop in this aircraft your parking brake will be on standard as is realistic and if you want to press the parking brake it's awkward it's right behind that stick and i advise not doing it like that what i would suggest doing is go into your controls and setting parking brake off, parking brake on, on your HOTAS. The reason that it defaults on is the Harrier is now modeled so that even in idle, as long as the nozzles are back standard, then it will actually move forward uh, on its own. So if I turn the parking brake off, it's just creeping forward and that's never going to end very well while you're lined up on the runway. So we're going to keep a parking brake on. If you spool up to begin with and you're not going anywhere, you need to remember that your parking brake is on. Next, I'd like to show you that we can do waypoint and CAS target position entries with UTM MGRS as well as lat long. It's all been lat long until now. We now have UTM, which is really cool. So let's show you how we use that. Uh, we're going to go here. We're going to select the waypoint that we want to edit, for instance. Uh, let's edit waypoint two if it even exists. And data ping. Okay, let's edit that waypoint. Uh, we used to use position for lat long. We now use UTM. And what we've got here is the UTM grid reference here. I'm just going to pause it so that it doesn't time out. We've got 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And imagine that the grid reference we are in, CM, is 5 on the numeric keypad. Then that would be 1, that grid. That grid would be 2. That grid would be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well, let's say that we want to go to... Uh, uh, the grid above, uh, CN, Charlie November. Well, let's select that. Uh, so we're going to find it. It's there, two, north, one grid, ping. Now we have to enter the lat long part of the UTM. So let's go and find somewhere we're interested in going in this grid. There you go, that there. Now look at the top left. You can see I'm in MGRS format currently. We can change that with left, alt, and Y. Like that. I'm going to put that back to MGRS. MGRS can come in 10 digits eight digits or six digits you can see up there that is ten digits so I'm going to write those down on my scratch pad very quickly before it times out and I'm going to go five four zero two seven and da, 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 one four zero three nine enter make sure we press enter and you can see that it's now MGRS itself up to that town there and we can prove it, it should be about 16 miles to the north Waypoint 2 now set 15.6 miles. So that's how we now set a position via the UTM forward slash uh, MGRS. Now, interestingly, we can do this uh, with our CAS targeting system as well. I'm just going to turn that 
off. We are going to go to menu, CAS, and I need a record in here. In fact, that record will probably be sufficient. If I click CAS again, I can edit with the asterisks, move the asterisks up, ping, ping, ping. And if I go to lat long there, I can edit this CAS record, and you can see lat long or UTM. Click UTM, and we're back in exactly the same position uh, as we were before. Use it the same. The only slight confusion this is caused is that you can only select the nine, or should I say the eight, adjacent uh, grid squares. So that one, 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 that one. You couldn't select, for instance, uh, Golf November here, which is not adjacent. And if anyone has a solution for that, please let us know. And the last two things. We now have the ability to add properties to Harrier waypoints. This may even be relevant for all planes, I'm not sure, but certainly for Harriers. One regarding uh, offsets, so waypoint offsets, and one regarding waypoint general type. Now, this is news to me. Um, this is I've never heard of this function before, and I've never heard of this function before because there appears to be in late December 2020 a bug in that some people are can do this and some people can't do this. Anything to add to that bit, RC? No, but it's been reported. It's, it's been reported. So some people this works for, some people this doesn't. If it doesn't, then I don't know. I can't help you at the moment. But let's put a Harrier somewhere, RC, and then we'll go and create a couple of waypoints. Sorry about the fuzziness. It's just... You can just about use it. Got some waypoints there. Uh, waypoint 2 is going to be our IP. So select waypoint 2. Does he need to be client or does he need to be human? It probably will be, won't yeah. he? Yeah. All right. So look, could you just hover over that tab that's opened up with waypoint 2 selected? So if you look on the, there, that one that he's trying to select there, that's been added in now. It's new. And what's the name of that? Waypoint properties. Waypoint properties. So click on that. And we can add specific properties uh, to the waypoints. And this is going to be coming out of information from a PDF that's come out of Rasbam. So we'd like to make this an IP and have an offset. Oh, it's gone. Add the first uh, data value in here. Let's call the name of it. This has to be WP underscore type, capital W, capital P, capital T. We're defining the type of the waypoint here. And then in the value, you can have... Target IP, A, A, R, S, A, R, P, R, K, as I'll just show on the screen. We're going to put IP for uh, initial point. Add a new one. We're going to add a uh, offset bearing and offset range to the same waypoint. First one, uh, name, OS, bearing, capital O, capital S, capital B. And the value is going to be in heading, so, I don't know, 040. And add another one, OS, range. And a range of, uh, I don't know, 24.3 nautical miles 23.24.3 okay uh, go out there come back in and just make sure it all looks right make sure it saved it there we go so that shows how we can define a certain waypoint from the mission editor as a particular type an ip in this case and we can define from that an offset uh, of 040 for 24.3 nautical miles that information is then going to automatically carry through uh, to our aircraft in game those are the updates to the harrier late december 2020 i hope you found that useful and see you later